2022 is almost coming to an end and it's that time of the year where you can expect next gen PC hardware. Yep, so next gen PC hardware, the RTX 4000 series, Intel 13th gen platform, Ryzen 7000, so many things are about to launch guys and this is going to be one hell of an year and I'm telling you right, it's gonna be like a revolutionary, that is what I can say. So today in this video, I have got like a huge scoop on Nvidia's brand new RTX 4000 series GPUs and this is gonna be epic guys, lots of interest information and rumors going on right now and we'll be talking about all of these in this video this video is gonna be like a banger guys and it's gonna be like super useful for all the gamers out there PC enthusiasts especially people who are like very interested to buy a brand new GPU like whether you should go for the current 30 series GPUs or should you people wait for the RTX 4000 series to launch so we'll be talking about all of these in this video let's get started As I've told you just now, there are so many leaks and rumors on Nvidia's brand new RTX 4000 series and Twitter is like the best source guys. If you aren't following me on Twitter, I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. Go make sure follow it. And coming back to the topic guys, RTX 4000 series is gonna be something next level. It's gonna be completely revamped guys. There's a whole new architecture, the whole fabrication process is new and performance is going to be like next level, almost like double, triple performance. That is what the leaks and rumors are suggesting. So Nvidia will be using their brand new Ada Loveless architecture and the fabrication process is also coming down from 8 nanometers to 5 nanometers and performance is going to be something awesome. But apart from that nothing that I'm like really worried looking at the rumors at least is TDP, the power consumption is going to be like really high this time compared to the previous 30 series GPUs. And this is what we'll be basically going in depth and talking about. So first of all, let me tell you about the different GPU variants that Nvidia will be coming up this time and when is the launch that you can expect. So basically in the 4000 series, right, in the first wave, you can expect around like three GPUs guys, the RTX 4070, 4080 and their flagship 4090 monster GPU. So this is what you can expect in the first wave so until the last three months rumors suggested that all of these three gpus will be launching at the same time and that too in 2022 itself guys during like september october this time but the recent leaks and rumors suggest that nvidia is not able to cope up with that and that is the reason they'll be only coming up with like one gpu for 2022 and that is going to be their most powerful guys the flagship variant of 4000 series the rtx 4090 so you can expect only like 4090 to be seen in 2020 that to like by the year end guys and the remaining GPUs will definitely come up in like first quarter of the next year which is 2023. So from the 4090 now you can expect like whole lot of stuff. First of all let me tell you about the architecture. As I've told you finally we are leaving Ampere architecture and heading over to Nvidia's new Ada Loveless architecture and let me tell you I kind of like this new name. Nvidia is going a bit romantic this time eh Nvidia? So anyways as I've told you brand new Ada Loveless architecture and this will be based on a 5 nanometer TSMC process. So until recently now 3000 series GPUs were based on Samsung's 8 nanometer process right. So we're moving from 8 to 5 nanometers. So this means that you can expect like huge amount of performance boost and at the same time power consumption will also be less so less power consumption but that doesn't seem to be the case by looking at the TDPs from the rumors and leaks we'll get there in a moment so first let me tell you what kind of specs you can expect from the RTX 4090 and what sort of performance you can expect over here so RTX 4090 as I've told you will be based on Ada Loveless and it will use AD102 chip guys and this will feature like 18,432 CUDA cores that is like a huge number of cores compared to the previous gen RTX 3090 just for a comparison sake right 3090 only had around like 10,752 cores so almost like nearly close to double the amount of cores and just like the last gen even the 4090 is going to feature around like 24 GB of GDDR6 X memory running at 21 Gbps speeds and coming to TDP guys as I've told you the brand new Ada Loveless are gonna be like power hungry monsters guys and the 4090 can come with a TDP of around like 450 watts so I was thinking like 3090 itself was like crazy having around like 350 watts of TDP but now now it has gone up to like 450 watts and wait until I tell you the best part you'll have to wait this is not the highest variant guys and talking about the clock speeds so 4090 will have a 
boost clock of up to 2750 megahertz where is 1600 megahertz on the 3090 and 2750 megahertz guys huge jump so you can expect almost like 55 to almost maybe like 65% boost in performance uh, compared to 3090 ti that is the level of performance you can see on the 4090 brand new 4000 series rtx gpu so that was about 4090 and wait a second if you people are thinking that 4090 itself is like bop of all gpus then wait until i tell you about 4090 ti this is like the true monster guys beast that is what i can say 4090 ti is going to pack almost like 48 gb of gddr 6x vram 48 gb of vram guys on a gpu what the hell who is even gonna use that is there any game or application that is actually going to use 48 gigs of vram and the tdp on the 4090 ti can go up to almost like 800 watts guys my god this is like freaking nuts it's gonna blow your mind though i do have to tell you 4090 ti is not coming in the first wave of launch it will definitely be coming in the second wave maybe you know mid 2023 so you'll have to wait for that now moving on guys let me tell you about the interesting gpu the 4070 this is going to be like the sweet spot for all the gamers and it's going to pack like insanely good performance at a very reasonable price so rtx 4070 will feature around like 12 gigs of gddr6 memory and and the TDP will be somewhere around like 300 watts and best part is RTX 4070 is going to be as fast as your RTX 3090 Ti. Yes, I'm telling you this is going to be like crazy. That is what I can say and the pricing will also be like very well maintained. So 2023 is going to be like a heck of a blast for all the gamers out there. So stay tuned for this launch. So these were some of the leaks and rumors going on on RTX 4000 series and that sums it up and apart from that right, we also got to know about some interesting benchmarks on these RTX 4000 series GPUs. Apparently, 3D Mark Times Square benchmarks have been leaked, and based on Twitter source, right, RTX 4090 scored around like 19,000 points on 3D Mark times by benchmark 19,000 points is actually like nuts guys so it's almost like 65 percent faster than your regular rtx 3090 ti that is what you can expect over here so pretty insane performance boost guys and if you look at the 4080 rtx 4080 scored around like nearly 15,000 points so this is almost like a 25 percent faster than your rtx 3090 ti and coming to 4070 as i've told you sweet spot for all the gamers this got a score of around 10,000 points in the same benchmark. So 10,000 points is like very close to RTX 3090 Ti. As I've told you guys, 4070 will offer like close to 3090 Ti level of performance. That too at a very affordable price tag. So prices, we still don't know about that because Nvidia hasn't launched any of these GPUs, right? So we, we are not sure about the prices. Again, prices can depend on a lot of factors. As I've told you, it depends on the stocks and availability and also the region. So I still can't comment yet, but I hope the pricing will be like very similar to the existing 30 series or might be slightly higher during the launch time. Anyways, I'll let you know about all of that in my upcoming videos. So that is pretty much it guys, some very interesting information I wanted to share with you people and talking about the launch as I've told you there will be only one GPU launching in 2022 and that is going to be their flagship RTX 4090. So I'm expecting the announcement and launch to happen somewhere around like September or October. You'll have to stay tuned and wait for the exact details and date and the rest of the GPUs 4080 and 4070 will be coming in the first quarter of 2023. So that's it. I hope you all enjoyed watching the video and got to know everything. What do you people think about these upcoming GPUs? And also let me know if you are like already planning to buy the existing RTX 30 series GPUs or would you like to wait and get the RTX 4000 series GPUs? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I'll see you all in my next one.